Today I'm going to show you how we can make the ultimate AI assistant using Claude. Now you can see my calendar has an event to record a video from 11.15 until 1.15 and then my inbox is currently empty. So I can head over to Claude and show you exactly what this can actually do. So you can see if I go over to my calendar now, you can see it's created that event for 5 p.m. for me to go to the gym. Now it can also do things like access contacts, send emails, so I'll show you how to do that just, uh, really quickly. And you can see we actually get to approve before it executes the tool. So it'll we can say allow for this chat, and then from now on, it will execute that tool inside of just this chat. So you can see I've kind of made some fake contacts here. However, I will actually email myself so I can say, now I can go to my inbox, refresh here. You can see we get that email saying hello and please like and subscribe. So. Now I can walk you through actually building this and setting this up for yourself. So this is the current workflow that I'm using and it looks very simple and I'm going to explain what I'm actually doing here. So we have an MCP server here, which if you don't know, MCPs have just been added to the cloud version of NADN and you need to update to the current beta. Uh, as of now, it might be published by the time you're watching this video, but to do that, we're going to click on this admin panel really quickly, and it will open up our dashboard for NADEN. Now we can click on settings and go down to the NADEN version, and you can see that uh, it is now actually the latest stable version. So 1.88 is going to be the latest version already, so as long as your NADEN is up to date, that you will get access to the MCP uh, nodes. So what this is doing is I have an MCP server here and then the tools that I've connected to it are access to a vector store, Gmail, Google Calendar, web search, and then a CRM. So the CRM actually have thrown together inside of here. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting an MCP server to another MCP server. So this server has access to five other servers containing more tools. So this is an example of my CRM here, which can update contacts, create contacts, and get contacts, as you saw in the demo. And then I have another page, which I just put out a video uh, talking about this page. So. This is kind of a lot going on here, but the premise behind this is that the self-hosted NADN has community MCP uh, servers, so you don't have to manually create all the MCP servers that you actually want to use. You just either get an API key, some of them don't have API keys, so you can just connect to a server that already exists and use the tools that are already in there. And this is kind of my approach to doing this for the cloud version. So I'll link this template down below so you can actually set up this agent for Claude. But what you can do is come in here and add other MCP servers if you'd like. So you can basically just uh, working together, we can put together a giant template of a bunch of MCP servers and anybody can come in and download it and start using any of these servers that they actually want to use. And what we can do, so in this case I'm using the vector store, the Gmail, the Google Calendar, the web search, and I think that's it, yeah. So the other ones I can just leave. So I've already connected my Google Calendar account, or my, I'll use Twitter, so I've already connected Twitter, but what I've done is deactivated them. So you can just highlight over them click activate or 
click deactivate. And what that actually looks like is where you will want to use this is I don't have my Slack uh, credentials connected to any dent. So I can't turn this workflow to active. We can see we get an error every time I try to do that because we have these outstanding errors. Now I can just highlight over the Slack connection here, double click and just a right click and say deactivate. So now we can actually activate this workflow and start using all of these servers. So whenever you want to use one, you just come in here, open up a node and then connect your credential here if you haven't already done so. And for the ones you've connected, you can just click on the server, copy the production URL, and we can go over to, uh, in this case, the MCP server that Claude will access. You can add a tool, <coughs> add an MCP client tool, and just paste in that SSE endpoint right there, that production URL that we just copied. Now, this also gives us the option to not actually use all the tools that are connected. So we can use just a selected number, we can use all of them, or we can say all except. So I could use all except maybe deleting a draft. Maybe I don't ever want to do uh, to delete drafts. So that becomes very helpful when we are actually using these MCP servers, especially when other people have created them. We might not want to use all the different tools, but that allows us to easily access different servers and different tools just through simply copying a production URL. So to make this, you just add a plus here. We need to add an MCP server just like this. You can rename it and then we'll give it access to other MP, uh, MCP servers. So to do that, you just add MC MCP clients, uh, client tool there and then we can go over and maybe I want it the Gmail tool. So I go to production, copy that, and then go over to the SSE endpoint and paste that in there. And now I'll show you what we actually do to connect it to Claude and start using all of these tools inside of Claude. And just to explain this a little bit more, this has access to a vector store. So every sub tool under every server that I'm giving it, it has access to. So it has access to all of these Gmail tools, this one, all four of these, and then all three of these as well. And the CRM tools there, which I've also added. So once we have all of the tools connected to our MCP server that we want to connect to Claude, we then open this up we go to production URL, and we copy this production URL. You want to make sure that this workflow is switched to active. I believe you want to switch this one to active as well. And you can do that just by deactivating those if you need to. And then we can go over to Claude. So I have another video out talking about how to connect MCP servers to Claude through NADEN. But I can explain it really quickly. So you'll want to go up to, I believe it was help, and then you can say activate or enable developer mode, something like that. I think it was under help. And then I don't get it anymore because I've already enabled that. So if you want to see what that exactly looks like, check out my last video talking about MCPs. But once you've done that, we will now have a developer section. Now what we need to do is we're going to go up to Claude and go down to settings. So you're going to open up your settings, you drag this up here. So this is what the settings looks like. And we now have a developer section. Now we can edit the config to actually add tools. So I'm going to click edit config and then that will highlight the Claude desktop config uh, file here. It's in JSON. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to open it with a text editor. So I'll show you what that looks like. And none of this will be here. I will link all of this down in the description. So you have to go down there and copy that. And then you'll just want to, you can kind of format it if you'd like. But what we need to do is replace this URL. So I'll have something like add URL here or something. 
something like that. But what we can do is we're going to paste in that uh, production URL that we got from NADEN. So that MCP server here, uh, copy the production URL, and then you're going to paste that in these quotes here. So it should look exactly like this. Now we're going to save the file, and then we can close out of that. We can go back to Claude here inside of the settings. So we're just going to close out of this, and we're going to completely quit the Claude application. So I'm going to use Command Q on Mac, and then we're going to open it up again. And now you can wait a second and it will pop up with tools here. So you can see we have 19 MCP tools available to us. So we can click on this. We can actually scroll through the list of the tools that we've just connected. And you want to make sure that when you're actually making these, the descriptions actually match. So delete event, delete a calendar event. Um, that one I might get edit, but delete, draft operation delete. So I don't think I added a description there but you can gonna go through and see that's what the uh, the LLM or Claude in this case is going to go off of when actually executing these tools so I could say list contacts and I'll show you what that looks like again so you can see it plugs in all of the information that is actually searching for and then it props up with this little window here and basically gets us to approve it accessing that tool from NADEN. So I can say allow for this chat, allow once, or completely deny it. So I'll say allow for this chat. And what that means is all the different chat uh, threads you have over here, if I want to list the contacts again inside of this same message or chat thread, it will just automatically do that. So you will have to approve it. In my case, I have to approve 19 different tools inside of each chat, but it's still very convenient. Um, you can say this one looks like it's not getting them. Um, so you kind of want to play around with this. Uh, it might not be getting the tools right, or the descriptions might be off. But you kind of go through here and edit the tool descriptions inside of NADEN. And I believe whenever you make any changes to, let's say, these tools here, you'll just want to quit out of Claude and then reopen it again for it to get those updated tools. But yeah, that is how you create the ultimate AI assistant and interact with it through Claude. And if you, like I said earlier, if you want to get access to this MCP uh, server template, feel free to go to the link in the description. I'll link a link to this uh, Google Drive folder here. So I'll have put the other template in here and by the time you get to this there might be other people who have added things to it as well. So I'll have something like version 1 and then if other people download it they can add other servers to it as well here and then re-upload it as like version 2, version 3, etc. and you can add. So if you do want to upload servers to this and add to this just Add your name to the list of contributors here. Add whatever servers you want to add, and then that will allow other people uh, like you or me can come in here and disconnect their credential and start using any of these servers that have already been made inside of this template. So that is the goal with this, and that is how you set up a MCP server and connect it to Claude to start using tools like this inside of Claude as well. So. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And if you did find this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's a lot of hair for you today. Have a good one.